01. So this was I ordered from Horationaries. Okay, so I will be using a number 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then I will be using an elastic band. You can buy these at your any local stores. Make sure it's the, the class free. And so we will use this. And to start with, we of course have to do our slip knot. Take your elastic, put your hook into the elastic band. So take the working yarn and try to grab that yarn and then slip, slip through. You made a slip knot, okay? then now we will make 36 single crochets around the elastic okay so this doesn't count it's kind of hard in the beginning but just keep practicing and you will get the the feel of it so 36 single crochets into our elastic band so that's my second one three four and five six seven nine and ten so as you notice I'm dragging along the end of the yarn where I started with the slip knot I'm dragging it along into the inside of the elastic so I'm gonna do off camera right now and I will be back to show you how to end and how to deal with uh, putting in all the stitches into the elastic okay guys I have 25 single crochets into the elastic so what you have to do so you can add more uh, stitches into the elastic you just have to pull your stitches backwards Okay, just keep pulling it so you have enough space right here to make more stitches to make room for more stitches so that was 25 so 26 my 30 and just to let you know this is the um, the yarn that I had started uh, working with so I dragged it along with uh, into the elastic so you can just if you have any extras that is showing there just trim it off okay so there you have it I will be back okay you guys i am back i have 36 single crochets now into the elastic so this is how it looks like right now so the idea here is you can put something inside the elastic like you can put a teddy bear or something else into the elastic but we'll go into that once we are ready to do that portion so 36 single crochets now you are ready to 
get into the first single crochet that we started with and slip knot okay so you just completed the 36 and you closed the the gap between them okay so you yarn i mean do a single crochet so chain three this is counted as the first single crochet so what we are going to do now is to do the first corner of our uh, granny square so we have to do three double crochets into one stitch so this is the first one so yarn over get back to that first stitch do a second one okay so if you don't know yet how to do a double crochet let me show you how to do it so yarn over go back into that same stitch where we started okay your hook is right there in between the working yarn and your uh, middle finger so grab that yarn go back into that stitch so you have one two three um, loops and you yarn over pull through two and now you have two stitches or two um, loops on your hook so what you do is yarn over again and pull through the two loops and as you can see now you have three double crochets into that one stitch okay so it's hard to understand right now but you will get the idea once we work through our uh, through our elastic here so that's the first this is the partial um cluster of granny square so now skip one two stitches and work on the third stitch so yarn over again skip one two and on the third one put your yarn into it okay so grab your yarn yarn over two and yarn over the next two yarn over again so remember we have to put three double crochets into one stitch okay that's the second one yarn over and do another double crochet so that's one we need to do two here so skip again one two skip two stitches and on the third stitch work on your three double crochets so that's all that there is to the granny square three double crochets okay so on our first round we will do two clusters of double crochets okay so now we will be doing a corner right here so again skip two stitches and work on the third stitch and this is the cluster of double stitch uh, of double crochets that we will do so that's three double crochets now and then since this will be the corner we will add two chains and we'll do another three double crochets into that same spot okay so that's one let me just take this okay so yarn over again do a second double crochet so remember we are doing this in one stitch and the third double crochet and that is our cluster okay so three double crochets chain two and do another three double crochets all into one stitch so that is the corner and then now we are in over again as usual skip two stitches and on the third stitch do three double crochets one two and three Okay. yarn over again skip 
two stitches and on the third stitch work your three double crochets okay so yarn over again skip two and we will do the corner clusters okay, so three double crochets two as you can see there is still this uh, yarn that is showing up here but you can do that later on you can just uh, trim it off again the excess yarn that's coming out from from the previous uh, row so three double crochets and this is the cluster so we do chain two and then do three more double crochets into that same stitch and this is our corner okay so skip two again we're ready to move on to another corner so that's one two and three over skip two stitches work on the third stitch and do three double crochets one that's two and three and so we have two double crochets so now skip two and work on the third stitch and yes this is our corner right here so work three double crochets into one stitch yarn over i mean two chains work another two double crochets Three double crochets. I'm sorry. That confu I'm confusing you. I don't. I don't intend to confuse anyone here. So three double crochets again. Okay. Okay. And then yarn over. Skip two. Work on the third stitch. Do three double crochets. Okay, so one. two and three yarn over skip two work on the third stitch three double crochets okay so I remember this is where we began the first of our row so we did three double crochets there and as i mentioned earlier this is the partial plaster of our corner um, gran so so we will do yarn over and then into that same stitch right right here into the same stitch you will do three double crochets one two and three and then you chain two and on the third chain from here where our first double crochet is so you count one two three so you grab that stitch from there and we slip stitch to end our row okay so that is the first row of our 
granny square so as you can see now it's becoming a square right so okay so again we just completed the first row of our granny square so remember the our elastic now has four corners so again the corner we do three double crochets chain two another three double crochets and it's all into one stitch so on the our first row we did two clusters of the double crochet and remember we don't chain anything right here in between we just yarn over and then the corner right here that's how it goes so two and two so it's it turned into a square now so we are ready for our second row and so second row this is how we do put back your yarn to start with okay and then what i do i just take off my hook and do it the opposite way so i don't have a bulky a bulky um right here a bulky stitch here so i just do it that way and then pull it towards outside and then now we can start chaining three and this is our first double crochet so we are in over again this is our corner we always begin every row we begin with a partial um, corner okay so three double crochets no chaining of anything so you yarn over and you get into this first space that is here before the first three double crochets from the previous round okay yarn over and that is where we will do our three double crochets so that's two okay don't chain just yarn over and then we will put three double crochets in between the two uh, double crochets cluster that we did on the previous round okay so don't worry about you not chaining or anything you have enough space and it stretches literally okay so on the third round we will do three clusters of double crochets okay so right there is our third double crochet in cluster so remember granny square is worked with um, double crochets three double crochets and clusters and chains okay so if we did two clusters of double crochet in our first row our second row now we will have three clusters of double crochets okay so that's one two three and then we reach the corner okay so yarn over don't chain okay so two three double crochets into that two chain space there the only time that we chain chain two is when we are doing the corner okay so three double crochets two chain two and then another three double crochets okay and then yarn over so in between here before you reach the first uh, cluster of your three double crochets you put one cluster of the three double crochets Okay, I'll 
do until you reach the, the first corner the corner again on this side okay and then you can work on your own and I will show you how it looks like at the end of the second row or second round if we can call it that okay so we are here in the corner for that corner okay. so if you notice don't worry that it gets a little cushy it will just uh, straighten out especially because this is an elastic and this chains and all these double crochets will just uh, take its place without uh, it um, being like clumped together okay so Work again three double three clusters of double crochet before you reach your uh, corner. And uh, remember, in the corner, you do three double crochets, chain two, and do another set of three double crochets. Okay, and I will meet you when I reach the end of my second row. Okay, I'm almost done with the second round or second row. Okay, I did we. I am working now in the corner, last corner for the second row. Okay, so three double crochets. I have two double crochets now. I'm working on my third double crochet. And then chain two. And the first uh, double crochet here where we started, we just want one, two, three. Right here, we will slip stitch. Okay, just be careful here. Hold on. Okay. So yarn over. Okay, so you slip stitch. There you go. So this is the end of our second round. Okay, so you can see now it's taking its shape. So we have three on our second round we have three clusters of the double crochet in between the corners. Yes, so as you can guess or as you have assumed, uh, the third round now we will have four um, clusters of double cur three double crochets between the corners. And as you increase or as you go along uh, increasing your rounds um, you increase your clusters by one in every in every round okay so again let me show you how to start the row okay so from here on you go back to the inside the, the chain two okay this is what helps me so once i have the two um, loops there i take off my crochet hook put it this way it just helps me not have a bulky kind of uh, a bulky kind of um, stitch right there okay so i have one stitch left now i can chain three one two and three so this uh, three chains is counted as my first double crochet for my corner here okay so do two more double crochets okay and then yarn over first uh for the first um stitch there or the first space it is where you start doing your three double crochets okay cluster of three double crochets no chaining just go on and on just yarn over and you continue on doing your clusters of double crochet 
so again it will be very repetitive so on your third round you will have four clusters of the three double crochets in between your corners and so it straightens out don't worry that it clumps together okay it just straightens out when you work when you keep increasing your rounds so i'll see you uh, when i am um as i progress i mean okay as i progress on my uh on my project so i'll see you on so welcome back my friends this is still uh, the tutorial on this um, granny square that we are doing so right now I am on to my fifth skein of this pastry puff yarn from Hershner's um, this is by far I did not measure it yet but this is how far by far how how wide uh, this project looks like so uh, this is my last skein available for me I think I will just do like either a lap gun or um, I don't think so that it qualifies for a blanket but um, let's continue on okay so I haven't counted yet how many rounds or how many rows I am at now but let's continue on so I am on this color so let us begin I'm also quite done now with this skein, so hopefully it will measure out uh, a good amount, enough for a love gun or something. Okay, so continuing on. Okay, so I'm doing three double crochets into one into one stitch double crochets okay. and so as you can see the color is changing right now We're getting into a new color, color wave. And you can see it right now. It's becoming uh, with specks of pink and the previous color. So this is now the color that we are using. Some specks of um, dark, um, dark pink and the light pink, baby pink, I would say. Okay, so I'll just keep counting, doing your uh, three double crochets into one uh, stitch. It's just like a merry-go-round when you when you do your granny square. You don't even have to think so um, so deep to remember what you have to do uh, for the next uh, stitch. It's just going on and on. So it's an easy to remember pattern. It grows 
goes really fast as, as well. Okay, so I'll work my way to the corner and I will show you how to end again in uh, the clustered corner. I'll see you. So I'll see you on guys.